Hello, Reject Nation. It's Greg Alba here. And I'm John. And I'm Andrew. Andrew from the Movie Source channel is here with us today. I'm excited for this game because I have played the first three plus a quarter, maybe less, of Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> Four, that being the quarter one, one, two, and three I played. And this is from Hideo yes. Kojima. John's played oh, yeah. the same ex exact amount of Metal Gear I have. Andrew hasn't played them. Some expert. What? Some expert. Still stuck. Is. Sorry, guys. Still stuck on Last of Us and Batman Arkham games. I'm it's... still bummed out Silent Hills didn't happen. But well, Guillermo me. del Toro is supposed to be in this, and Norman Reedus is in this, too. Hey. Now I'm intrigued. World. Let's make it a little louder, too, so we can hear the trailer. Feel like we're there. Oh, there was an explosion. A bang which gave birth to time and space. A bang. Once there was an explosion. A bang which set a planet spinning in that space. Once there was an explosion. A bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion. Is that Norman Reedus talking? Yeah, oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah, that looks like Norman Reedus. See, this guy's voice sounds cool. So used to his Daryl accent. Yeah. Wow. Damn. Porter. Oh shit! This game looks cool. <laughs> Looks like an alien's LV. Oh, what? Who's that? Yeah, the camera. What Whoa. the hell? Oh man! What the hell? Ah. Shoot through here. What is happening? Shut up. Don't even breathe. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, what? <laughs> Like an invisible creature. John, I'm scared. Oh, he's getting hit. Yeah. So scary. Friendship and all. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. What? Oh, maybe it's like the last baby alive. I forgot everything I've ever heard about this game. Maybe it's like the last baby alive or something. 
Wait a minute. Newborn? I forget. Oh, maybe. It sounds cool. Like a children of men kind of situation. Yeah. Whoa! Did you just throw the baby in the water? They didn't make his body overly buff. Yeah, right. It'd be like that. Hey, Norman Reedus. I mean, he's buff. Wow. Oh. What is that? It's like a combination of like a scorpion and an earwig or something. Whoa. Hmm. It's kind of like Pirates of the Caribbean 3. The world's temporarily upside down. Mm -hmm. The world's end. Assassin's Creed character? No, no Porter. Whoa. What? On Earth? How? I think he swallowed the baby. Mickelson too. That sounds exciting. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Got a new, uh, new logo and everything. Ladies and gentlemen, Hideo Kojima. So I guess that's the end. Nope. Star Tours. Thank you, Mick Ice and Fire. Oh boy. That made Thank me want to play a video game again. That was really interesting because it, it had me thinking about when I would play the Metal Gear games and I always liked how every one of the Metal Gear games, you never go into that game thinking it's a horror game, but each one of them has an element in there that is very much horror based. I remember there was like Psycho Mantis, which was super like mm. horror. And then you have the vamp in Metal Gear yeah. 2. <laughs> you got like weird ass characters in part three. Yeah. But those games aren't like horror games and this has this sci-fi horror vibe yeah, to it. It feels, it feels scary. I know they didn't have Silent Hills go through, but he's getting a chance to do this other project that still seems to have the horror element be a strong factor in it. Oh, definitely. And yeah. I, I love it. I love because you know, like Metal Gear always starts off like it's just a mission, and then it gets all 
freaking weird, you know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is just like, it's weird, you it's know? It's weird right away. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and we got to protect this baby, I guess. <laughs> yeah. That's got to be a strange accessory to have on you in a video game. I wonder if you're going to have, like, two life yeah. bars. If you're going to have, like, a baby life bar, too. <laughs> I forgot everything I learned about the game. As I remember, I saw a trailer for this a long-ass time ago. And um, I remember there being a baby in there. And I also like this idea, you know, because I thought about that. You know, there were dinosaurs, and then there were humans. Mm -hmm. I know there's, you know... Some other animals in between <laughs> that process. Just a few. Yeah. <laughs> a couple, maybe. I thought, like, what would be the next thing? And I like how this game touches on that. Uh, the, the whole the concept is about bang. that. Yeah, yeah the yeah, next yeah. big bang. What would emerge and humanity would go extinct? And maybe that baby's the last chance of humanity. Yeah. Well, and this also kind of reminds... This is a weird reference to pull, but it kind of reminded me of uh, that Nine Inch Nails album, Year Zero, with, like, the creepy figures in this sort of dystopian mm -hmm. and and you can tell they're from some kind of outfit organization yeah. they have these suits with their name at least i think it's his name or something what i liked about this trailer was it's how heart pump how heartfelt and heart pumping it felt like what i mean by that is like through the uh the uh wow. tension filled scenes like you're really like what the hell is going on and just you feel like the threat level the tension level just it's got a lot of horror vibes which i appreciated but i think the biggest thing that i thought on top of the incredible visuals that we see because these, I mean, the visual of Norman Reedus, it looks just like him. It's insanity. Yeah, it looks, it looks, it looks, it looks like there's, <laughs> like, it, but what I'm appreciating of this, even though it doesn't really go into a, a crazy detail of the story, it kind of is very vague story-wise, it looks like there is going to be a really interesting story oh, there. Absolutely. I mean, just from the little uh, snippets we're getting with the baby and, like, you know, what's going to be dealing with that, and, you know, the the thought of, you know, they're going to be in a different world or, like, the, yeah. the dead world. Like, I mean, the, the visual, uh, you know, imagery that I can think of that we're going to see in that world, it's just going to be mind tripping because obviously I know Guillermo del Toro right is working on is that, is I that think what he, I he's I, in it they worked on this game that didn't end up going through uh, called Silent Hills I don't know if Guillermo del Toro is involved in it in terms of the making of it I think it might be done sort of in the likeness of Guillermo del Toro mm -hmm. well I feel like yeah. this is nice that they're both involved in this because even though this is very different from Silent Hill it does have a certain Silent Hillish like breathiness yeah. and, and like weirdness about it because you're watching this and you're going like this is messed up I think yeah. but I can't quite tell what it is yeah. and it's freaky and and some of the most potent video games to me anyway are the ones that do uh, play on tension and fear and then yeah. get your heart rate going and especially with the advances we've made in VR and stuff yeah. I imagine this would be a very intense oh, yeah. gameplay situation because we were sitting there and like those long camera shots and stuff you're like starting to get yeah. uneasy and, and also this makes me wonder now what the gameplay is going to actually be like I really thought the world too it really reminded me a lot of LV426 and uh, Alien yeah, yeah. 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 Really, like I mean just especially the nighttime scenes like I was really getting yeah. that vibe and like just to be back in like a world that feels like that I'm like really hooked into this and... it's interesting to watch the Annihilation trailer and then watch this and you're like they're not too far apart they could be they're cousins <laughs> yeah connected. just yeah. add you know like 200 foot Slenderman and then yeah. there you go <laughs> what was that I wonder if this game will actually say what they are yeah, yeah I'm sure we'll find out something and I mean like oh did you see some of those early shots where like they're hidden in the background yeah. where you see in the ripples of the clouds more more of them, and they're like, ooh. I was also getting a little bit of vibe. The mist. The mist. Yeah, I was really, Frank Darabont's The Mist. I was getting oh, yeah. a lot of the mist vibes, you know, with the big creature in the sky. Like, yeah. It was, yeah, I was getting a lot of that. That creature that crawls over the surface of the water yeah. definitely had a, a mist vibe to me. All the creatures in that movie have an insect-like design. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, I, and that made me wonder, too, because that's a different design from the big, tall figure dudes yeah. who are around. I wonder if this is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what strange stuff we're going to see in this game. And also, I loved how they were building the suspense, just showing like the footprints and something you can't that's, see. They're yeah. like, that's just that insanely was... scary to me. Something yeah. you cannot even see. It's like, how the hell are we supposed to, you know, kill or defeat something we can't even see? We yeah. just see some footprints of. So I wonder how you will define that. How the game will specifically define how the, the, the rules of these creatures are. If they are the creatures, is what would you call them? And how intellectual are they? I don't want them to just be monsters. They seem I, like they're intellectual beings. I, they seem yeah. like they're functioning on a higher realm. Right? Yeah. And again, yeah. obviously, we'll have to see what happens gameplay wise when the game comes out. But I just feel like the way they're building it up slowly, it's like it. It feels like they're going to be very difficult to beat and. I like it when yeah. we face, you know, not only in movies, but video games as well, when you get to defeat villains who are really tough to fight. The payoff is just so satisfying. Like, damn, I really earned that in the end. So that's, I'm hoping that it, it really, like, ends up being that because 
that's what I was getting the vibe of, you know, just off the, the few little clips we were seeing of these characters. Yeah. I'm like, how are we supposed to defeat these characters? And I, I like that sense, like, you know, feeling like it's going to be impossible. Yeah. Well, and, and are we supposed to, or, or is the point sort of to get clever and elude? Because this is also an open world game, so you can kind of go, I imagine, anywhere. And, and you know, now I'm thinking, like, and you know. upside down world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I'm thinking, like, are we going to have, like, a Fallout sort of thing where you're, like, wandering from, like, little encampment to yeah. little encampment? Yeah. Like, I think coming across creatures and then making little alliances or what? I know? think you just also mentioned one of the things like I'm I'm really looking forward to if we do play this game is the open world. Just the little what, what we saw here of I couldn't tell which world they were in if they were in the dying world whatever. But I mean, just I, I'm very excited at the possibilities of other worlds that we can get yeah. get to see. Like visual imagery wise, this was outstanding to, to look at. And it's it's amazing where they've come in video games. It really is. It really is. It really is, ladies. Plus, you know, maybe one of these days they'll do like a Demogorgon DLC. <laughs> and then you can you can fight one. That's a Stranger Things reference, Andrew. Because of the upside down world. I need to get on that. The upside down. Guys, you can subscribe to the Real Rejects. Please click that notification bell. Andrew is on the Movie Source channel. Follow him there because he loves movies. We love movies. Who doesn't love movies? Have you ever met someone who said, I don't like movies? You know who says that? People who watch movies that are cynical. They're still watching movies. Got you it. can become a Patron Eject today. True that. Take care.